Carrie here with our 1953 Alcourt Sunfish Zip. Uh, she's ready for uh, sea trials on the summer sales to talk about a few of the uh, peculiarities about the, these pre-production boats. So she's built uh, number 13 of the first 20 built for family and friends to see if they liked it. So some things we've uh, learned along the way. The original boats, we're guessing, probably had a had a solid wood mass, but at one point in the 50s, Alcourt started experimenting with aluminum mass. So we've seen it on a lot of boats from the factory in the kit. Also, um, Zip now has a uh, hybrid mass. The bottom third or so is aluminum. We've got it taped over with black gaff tape. And in the top of the mass is wooden, tapered with a little shiv at the top. And we've been told she's number 13, but for some reason, someone at one point has painted these, uh, this little dice on the mast, uh, lucky seven. So the earliest boats came with this uh, sweeping combing. Uh, back, uh, back up a little bit. All they had on the deck was the uh, the one uh, cleat. There's no fair lead or block on the deck. And back up even more, the bow handle wraps. down across the bow and then a little keel strip underneath for the first 16 inches. The original boats that came with a little 31 inch dagger board, that's not enough uh, board uh, we found out. It may have been uh, back then. Works good on the smaller uh, standard sailfish. And the rudder was little elephant ear type was pretty small also so she's been upgraded to the rudder that started showing up in the 1960s with the fiberglass boat. Uh, we call it the spoon tip. So we put a little more rudder, a little more keel on her. Here's the patented uh, rudder releasing mechanism, the hinge pin, a little latch plate on the bottom where that vertical hinge plate can pop out if you hit a underwater or above water obstruction with the rudder. She had a little metal bridle. We changed it over. We put most of our boats. We just put a little line bridle on it. Throw in a little block or just let the uh, just let a snap shackle ride back and forth on the traveler. He's got a new sail from 2013 made by a Hunter and his crew at Sure Sails Pensacola. And here's the dagger board. We uh, upgraded her to the Barrington board. Designed by the Barrington Frostbiter started appearing in the, uh, in the early 1980s. She had no open fair lead, a sheet hook or anything. So we added a, um, a little small ratchet block. You can either, it'll freewheel or you can uh, set it to ratchet. These boats also had open uh, bulkheads, which is good news because the water drains out great. And uh, we hit a little, a little half uh, Greenland paddle in there. See if the uh, wind dies. We can uh, get in and out. So it sure was nice of uh, Alex and Cortland to design this little storage space for the uh, paddle there. So made of uh, plywood deck over uh, plywood frames and solid wood uh, side, solid wood transom. So she's uh, ready to go got a nice little breeze off the coming out of the north northwest today and we're going to get her launched here in just a little bit <laughs> 